What's going on guys, it's Danny here, welcome to another Let's Play World of Warcraft Leveling a Panda and Monk, this is episode 7, so let's log in and see where we left it uh, Yesterday, yeah, I was on my way to this village over there to discover the flying And also, we were doing a dungeon, I said I was gonna do a dungeon um random classic dungeon specific dungeon i kind of want to go for a specific one because th the chance is kind of small but i could still get into this one which we already did i don't want to do the exactly same uh, dungeon again if we already did it i want to show you every dungeon possible as, as many dungeons as possible in the game uh, yesterday we missed one because it was too low experience for me and it disappeared Unfortunately, sorry about that But um, we already did this one, Wailing Caverns And um, maybe I could maybe I could go for a random one and I could get into this tree But what if it gives me the same one that we did already? Like, not the previous let's play? the. The previous one before the in episode 5 we already did it um, what to do here all right this is the flying here discover the flying strength and honor and now we can fly to the other village we can fly to Ogremar which is the the big city I don't see quests on the map here where are my quests I want quests to do yo what is going on? Let me sell stuff real quick for? and repair. I'm selling everything. I don't need any of this surprisingly actually I don't have quests here. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna go to the other one and try to look for quests over there? Maybe I can, maybe, maybe quest here? Start quest, oh, okay. In this, this button right here, adventure guide. Um, I can start a quest in Ashenvale. This is where I am right now. Drive the night elves from Ashenvale and claim its resources for the horde. Start quest. Okay, but this is to where we were before. Okay, we're gonna go there now. This is what we're doing. Um, we have to fly back. Actually, this is a quest here, but it's grey. So that means I'm not... I don't have enough level for it yet. Probably that's what it means. Glory. Um, I'm gonna go fly back. Flying will be much, much faster. We will get there much faster than we normally would. If we only use the mount. Um, let's actually queue for a random dungeon. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for a random dungeon. It's just the reward from doing a random dungeon is really good. You get bonus experience a lot and you get the bag w that drops you some item. If I go for a specific one, I get exactly the dungeon I want, but at the same time, hmm, I might... Uh, we're just going to hope that we don't queue into this one that we already did. Even if we get into this one, we're just gonna do it again. And after that, I'm going to queue for a specific one. For one that we haven't done. And that's it. Easy. Actually, there is going to be a group really, really fast this time. Yesterday, I had to wait like 10 minutes or so. And I... I only remember to queue at the end of the let's play yesterday after 30 minutes into the video so I didn't really have time to do a dungeon but anyway um, two days ago on is this guy going to attack me again is, is it you again attacking me yesterday you were doing it all day yeah I just don't care man yesterday you were so annoying to me all day Alright, dungeon is ready, guys. Let's hope we do not get... Okay, it's not the one we did. 
This one we haven't done it. This one has actually three bosses. It's uh, it's not very long. This one is pretty short. Okay. So this one is called a Stormwind Stockade. Okay, we are doing this one. Stormwind Stockade. Level 24 mobs. These mobs are pretty high level actually. I could also pull, it doesn't have to be like the tank. But I'm not gonna die if I pull first, if I go first. You know what we're gonna do here? We're gonna set focus on the tank and then whatever he's attacking, we go for that as well. When I'm doing dungeons on my main, on my Shadow Priest, I always put focus on the... I always put as a focus my tank. So that way I can notice easier, uh, you know, where he's going and wh what mob is he attacking. I need a target. Okay, this is not for us. As you can see, this this warlock in our group, or this is a mage actually, not a warlock. He's becoming impatient, so. He is like pulling creeps and stuff, pulling mobs. I actually don't have my uh, target in the right position. My target should be down here. Yesterday, uh, the game was lagging a little bit and I was getting disconnected and stuff. I was playing on my main. Um, some weird bugs, some weird things were happening yesterday. And some of my settings were reset to default, surprisingly. That never happened before. So some of them, I have to do them again. Too far away. I am out of range. I do not have a target. Okay, where is the first boss? Okay, we're getting closer to the first boss. Holy shit. I'm dealing so much damage. All right. Why are we going in there? The tank, instead of going for the boss, he goes into this room. Maybe he wants experience. Maybe this guy wants to clean the, the entire dungeon to get as much experience as possible, and that's fine. As I already said, there are people who level up only in dungeons. To be honest with you, to be completely honest, if I wasn't making this gameplay, uh, this uh, Let's Play series, I would probably be leveling uh, only in dungeons as well. Before, like, until level 60 or so. Right now, I don't want to do it. Um, I want to do quests because I'm recording for you guys. Don't get me wrong, right? I like doing quests. But, um... Dungeons is like... Probably the, the most fun thing ever. Once you get to level 60, dungeons are not going to be enough. Because you will need to... You will need more than just dungeons. I'm trying to clean the others first. Before attacking the boss. Alright. Two-hand axe. We don't care about the two-hand axe. How did we get the achievement of completing the dungeon? This was the last boss. Actually, that was the last boss. We first killed the last boss in the dungeon. Interesting. Very interesting, to be honest. Now, there is another boss over there. So, let's go ahead and kill him, guys. Or not. Okay, let's go for the other one first. As you wish. I am out of range. 
one hand mace. We can wear that, but we already have the swords. I am out of range. Swords. I need a hug. Yeah. Yeah. I need to target something first. You are targeting something, don't worry, bro. I do not have a target. Kill this one too, boys. I, I kill this one too. First. I'm actually surprised that we got into this dungeon. Honestly. Because this is like the highest level one from all the dungeons we have available to do. You know? Too far away. If we go to group finder and then go to specific dungeon, this is like the last one. Even the boss is uh, orange. It's not yellow for me. I talked about it in previous episodes. Yellow is the perfect uh, level, you know, to kill mobs. Orange is a little bit harder, so I might miss some of my attacks because it's it's a lot le a lot higher level than me. Eight intellect. We don't need intellect. We don't need the cloth type of items. We wear leather. I really need pants. The the ones I have don't give me anything. And I need another ring. And I need a head, and I need a I need a wrist that gives me anything because the one only gives me armor right now. Whew, we need so much stuff, guys, and we are not getting anything from these bosses. What is going on? And not only from the bosses, like any kind of, um, any kind of, you know, wrist or or pants that give anything. Just even if it's one one of something, even if it's one agility, it's still fine. I am out of because range. the ones I have right now don't give absolutely anything. I guess we're just being a bit unlucky here. Happens. Happens, right? Look at that pander and I cannot attack that. Oh, what did he do? I need to be closer. Oh, we have to kill the ads. He spawns uh, people to help him. He spawns mods mobs to help him. I do not have a target. Bam! 1200 critical strike. Take that in your face, dude. Target. And we leveled up. Now this is Mayo. Agility. 8 agility and 5 stamina, which is amazing, but it's Mayo. And we cannot wear Mayo. Shit, man. Okay, so that's it. Um, only 3 bosses in this dungeon. That's it. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Good luck in the future, boys. I am leaving this one. So, what did we get? Let's open the bag. Open the bag and... Intellect and stamina? We don't need intellect. Oh my god, come on. Come on, give me some luck here. I'm looking for items with agility. Leather items with agility. Not intellect, not weird shit that we don't need. Come on, bro. Okay, Adventure Guide has something for me clearly here. Um, is it the quest that it's showing me? Join group. Secondary profession. Random battleground. Oh, yeah. In the previous episode, I mentioned this uh, website called Wowhead. It's not a bad idea to look in there. But I actually didn't know what exactly this option does. 
Um, this when I played when I used to play the game four years ago, I don't think this was in the game, the adventure guide. So you can always look in here. It, it shows you the the leveling zone, I guess. And if you don't have a quest, like you just saw what happened to me, it might happen to you as well. You go to a village over here and you don't see any quest. And by the way, I see quest on the map right now. There is somebody here. So let's go and take that quest. It is too far away. To target something first. Um maybe you can if you don't see any quests, maybe you can option we can you can open the adventure guide and zug, zug. Oh, what is this? Weapons? We already have weapons. Escort Torek on his attack against Silverwing Outpost. Okay, we're going For to escort Horde. him. For the Horde, that's right, bro. For the Horde! Yeah, for the Horde, bro. So we're gonna do this escorting quest, and after that we're going to queue for another dungeon. How does that sound? Um, bro, let's go. It's taking forever. Yeah, come here. I need a hug. Dead. I need and you are dead too. I do not have a target. I am out of rage. For the horde, yeah, keep screaming that, bro. That's what I want to hear. Keep saying that. Whoopa. I, need a I am getting used to this character, man. All the buttons um, rolling in, rolling into mobs to kill them. It's all cool. Come here, bitch. Closer. Ooh, holy shit. One shot it, guys. One shot at her. I am out of rage. Whoop. I need oh, wow. There are more here? Where did they come from? I'm gonna kill them all. I don't mind killing them all, but where the hell did they come from? For the horde! Yeah, for the horde! Okay, that's it? Are we done, bro? Makra. What do you need? What do you need? Oh, okay, we are done. And we have to go and return the quest to the village. Okay. Let's go to the village then and return the quest. And loot over here, this thing. Let's go to the village. Uh, not this way. Have to go that way. Over here, this way. Um, in the previous episode, yesterday, I remember asking you... Yeah, I remember now. Good thing I remember this time. Um, I asked you if you played the game before. How long ago do you still play it now? What character is your main and stuff? And what server do you play? But, as always, I forgot to say something. If the answer to my question was no, you haven't played the game ever, and you are wondering if it's worth buying or something, a lot of people, um, you know, who haven't played the game, they are wondering, is it worth buying? Um, you can try it for free. Now, you would think everyone knows you can try World of Warcraft for free, but believe me, not everyone knows. Okay, not everyone knows that. Um, you can try World of Warcraft for free, but you can level up only to level 20. That's it. You can play the game for free, a trial version, but you can uh, level up only to 20. That's it. So, you can decide by yourself if you like the game or not. Such game... Um, I'm glad that the game has the trial version. 
the, the option to try the game so you can see if you like it or not. Games that you have to pay to buy them and stuff. It's really good to have these uh, trial versions because otherwise you don't you don't know if it's worth it. For example, with Overwatch, um, to play Overwatch, you have to buy the game. Yes, it's true, you have to buy the game only once and that's it. You don't pay every month like you have to pay in World of Warcraft. But still you have to buy Overwatch. And in Overwatch, I don't see a trial version. They should make it like, you know, give probably um, five hours, something like that, five hours of uh, playtime. So you can you can play matches or maybe until level because on on overwatch you also have a, a level on your account So maybe until level 10 or so on your account So you can you can play matches and see if you like the game or not and try all the different heroes in overwatch. I Think it's a not bad idea now world of warcraft apart from buying the game which um, it's not going to be very expensive. I don't think it's 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 not expensive at all. Um, the first versions, but if you wanna buy Legion now, Legion is like forty four euros for me. If you if your currency is not euros but dollars, it's probably like fifty five or sixty something like that. And now that's a lot of money. So that's why I mean. The trial version you cannot try. Holy shit, there are a lot of quests here. Damn. Okay. This is. This is where we're going. Do this. Take this quest. Um. Take this quest over here. Discover the flying. The flight master. Um. Take this quest over here. Damn, that's a lot of quests, man. Holy shit. Let's go and do all of them. Now... Okay, one of them is to go here and talk to someone. And then the other three are to kill something. Okay. So I'm gonna go... Uh, what? Wait, one of them is... Uh... Heal defenders. I have to heal defenders. Uh, where are th these? Are the defenders right? So I have to heal them. But these are not taking damage. Maybe there there are defenders that are taking damage somewhere. Defenders that are taking damage that I have to heal. Um, I mean, these ones. This guy took a little bit of damage. No, it says it's uh, it's not the target. Okay, anyway, let's go kill. You know, fuck it. The best thing you can do is fuck it and say, go kill. <laughs> I'm out of range. Um, I want to add something real quick. If you would like to to try World of Warcraft and then you decide to play the game, you decide to buy the game, just be a little careful, okay? Be a little careful because game uh, To be honest game could be quite addicting. I remember when I started playing it at first That's exactly how I started playing it personally. Um, I started the trial version with a friend Okay, this is who we have to heal this guy um, I tried the, the 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 free version with a friend we were playing together I leveled to level 20 and then I love the game so much and I bought the game well met. Um, so I continued playing it. And the first time when I was leveling my very first character, I can tell you, when it's your first character and stuff, you you could get a little bit addicted to the game, so be careful. You are going to find yourself in this situation all the time. Um, you are gonna you're going to be like Let's do one more quest. Um uh, let's do let's do one dungeon and then when you see how much you level up in the dungeon You're going to be like, okay, let's do another dungeon because I'm leveling up a lot and then Okay, I'm going to finish this quest and then I'm done 
and then you take another quest and then you are like okay one more quest and then i i'm done i promise but you are never done so <laughs> just be a little careful with that right now at this at this stage of like after playing video games and oh holy shit we have a new spell no this is not a new spell but what is it doing here though no, this is not a new spell, we already had that one. At this stage of like, after playing games for all this time, for all these years, or maybe at this stage of my life maybe I should say, um, I don't get addicted to games that much, I, I, I just, I just won't be like, um, I have to go, but I can't go right now because I'm, I'm so much into the game. I'm not like like that anymore. That used to happen before. I had to do something, but I was like, man, I'm so much into this game right now. I'm having a really good time. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. For example, homework. Let's do that next time. Make sure that doesn't happen to you. That's... What the fuck? Did I just lag for like two seconds? My screen froze? Closer. Or something like that? I need to target something Anyone who um, who has played the game for some time before can confirm. I'm pretty sure everyone who has played the game can confirm what I said about the game that could be a little bit addictive at some point. At some point, right? So maybe someone who is who went through that maybe you can share something in the comments for for the people who never played the game and they are considering playing it just uh just confirm it for me okay that the game could be addictive so i'm not the only one saying it and i don't sound like like i'm trying to tell you to not play the game you know you can play the game if you want but be, be a little careful man <laughs> The game is amazing, but be a little careful over there. Okay, one more uh, Bowman Slain, and then uh, six more arrows that we have to collect over here. Arrows. Bowman. It's Bow. Closer. Why is it Bowman when it's female, that one? That one was a female. Bowman? It's not Bowman. Bow... Bow woman? <laughs> yeah, I guess. 8 out of 10, guys. Two more. Okay, one. Another one. Alright, there we go. So now, we have completed all three quests. And we're going to return them over here. And we're probably... We're like... 40, 43%, 43% of level 23, let's guess how much we get after, after returning these three quests, after returning these three quests, I believe I'm gonna get to experience like 70% or something, Greetings. if not more than that, because they do give a lot of experience, this, these quests give a lot of experience, uh, okay, 70% now, and after returning this one, yep, yeah, 88%. Wait, that was it? Oh my god, I thought I'm gonna get more quests here. Okay, well, to be honest, that's still good enough, right? <laughs> that I almost leveled up one entire level, that's still good enough, but I thought I'm gonna get more quests, man, what the hell? Open quest log. Okay, let's go and return that one. So what we're gonna do now, after we, we quested, in the beginning of the episode we did a dungeon right away. After that we quested a little bit. And now we wanna do another dungeon. So we did the Stormwind Stockade. Um, we already did this one of course in episode 5. And now we have these two dungeons to do. So I'm going to queue for both of them, and um, let's see which one we get.
And the one that we don't get? Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to queue only for this one because it's level 16 to 26. So, maybe if I level up to 24, this one will go um, green. Which green means it's not... It's a bit lower level than me. It's a bit low level for me. Uh, but it's still okay to do. Level up. Oh, yeah. You have reached level 24. Dungeon unlocked. And... Uh, you have learned a new ability. A new ability. So, we unlocked another dungeon. Yep, this is getting better and better. Um, this dungeon is in uh, orange though, level 24 to 34, so it's a little bit higher level for us, but we don't have to do it yet because we haven't done Shadow Fang Keep yet, and then we still have left the Black Fathom Deeps to do, which both of them, I have done them in the past of course, when I was leveling characters, um, both of them are pretty fun. Uh, Shadow Fang Keep is going to be longer than the first one. The first one we did in the epi in the in the beginning of the episode, the Stormwind one, the Stormwind Stockade, that only had three bosses. So we finished it in like in like ten minutes. We were done with the dungeon, but um, the one we are going right now, Shadow Fang Keep, has um, a, a, more bosses. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has more than three bosses. So now we're going to return this quest over here. Um, Kadrak wants you to bring the vial of Gorad's blood. Okay. I'm going to bring the blood. Oh, he's right here. Okay. Uh, okay, take the blood, man. <laughs> and then we get... Uh, for the quest, we'll get a shoulder for agility and stamina. But we already have a shoulder. So we don't really need it. Use Gorat's uh, blood on on the corpse, okay? So... Wait, I thought it's this corpse over here, but it's not. It's, uh, it's somewhere over there. Captain Ellen, Ellen D. Lad. So we have to slay the captain and then use the blood on him? Yeah, five bosses. You can see in the beginning, five bosses. This is how many bosses the dungeon has. Yep. It's uh, two more bosses than the first dungeon we did. Am I yelling too much? Hope I'm not yelling too much. Oh, quests! Wait! Did we have quests in the previous dungeon we did, but I didn't notice the quests? Oh, that would be so bad of me if... If we had a quest, but I didn't really notice it. I hope not. <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. Hello. I am out of range. Hello, boys. It is too far away. Yeah, this dungeon is a little lower level for us. I think the best, probably the best thing to do in every episode is like do one dungeon and then quest. We gotta do the dungeons in time, because right now they are green, green mobs for me, so they are like a little lower level for me. Okay, this cloak gives one agility, but we already have a cloak that gives three agility, so we don't need this one. This is the, this is the undead zone, as you can see. The previous dungeon we did. It was in the in the alliance zone. There were all humans. Um, the 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 first one we actually did was um, located in the alliance city um, called Stormwind. So it was an alliance dungeon, and the one we are doing right now is located in the undead in the undead zones. My main is an undead, so yeah. Holy shit, I almost died here. What the fuck is going on? Look at my group and look at how low on HP everyone is. What the hell did this boss just do to us? He destroyed us. Uh, cloth chest for intellect and stamina. We don't need intellect. Yo, 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 wait for me, wait for me. Yo, I have to return the quest. Hey. 
Okay, so now we have another quest. Oh, he's gonna have to go and open the door for us, right? And the bear dancing. Let's dance with him. Look at that panda dance. Beautiful. Level 20. Okay, so now they are yellow. Now they are perfect level for us. Alright. These are not lower level. Opa. What is this uh, pattern? This is for leather working. We don't have leather working. We don't have any profession, and we're not going to be leveling up one. I need a target. I need a target. I need to target something first. Okay, so we are in our way to the second boss, right? The second boss that is over here in the room, okay. At the end of the room, there is going to be a boss. It is too far away. I need to be closer. You might look at these uh, mobs right now as humans, but they are not really humans, they are undead. I need to target something. If you put, them, if you put your mouse uh, on, on the mob, it, it, on the bottom right on the screen it says elite or elite I am out elite of right <laughs> and then it says undead so these are undead it is too far away. I am out of range. yeah the tank is taking so much damage we might want to heal him real quick because the the support the, the, the healer is probably de dealing DPS. In these dungeons in the early levels, um, the healer can afford to DPS sometimes. And... Like overall the dungeons are very easy. And very fun to do at the same time. <laughs> Did we level up? One hand mace for strength. We don't really need that with strength. On top of that, we already have weapons. God damn it. I want pants, man. Leather pants with agility. Is it? Am I asking for too much? And also a back. And, and the wrist. I'm not asking for too much. <laughs> Just give me what I need, man. We're gonna continue doing dungeons anyway, no matter what, but... I could be a little bit lucky sometimes and get something that I actually need. Okay, so we're going towards another boss right now. He's in front of us. Yeah, this, this dungeon is longer than the first one and it's boss after boss. It's not... doesn't take much time between bosses. Not so, not so many mobs to clear between bosses. It is too far away. I need a target. Remember to help your healer, okay? No matter if you are a DPS or a tank, remember to help your healer. Your healer in World of Warcraft is like your support player in Dota 2. Um, so, help them, okay? Help them. And be nice to them also. <laughs> um... Two-hand axe, we cannot even wear axe, two-handed axe, I guess. On top of that, we already have weapon. No need to say that. Two-hand sword. Oh, this is a pretty cool sword, but we already have weapon. And we cannot wear a two-hand sword, so... GG. I need a card. Um, okay, another boss anytime soon here? Oh, no, I didn't return the quest. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't return the quest, yo. There is a quest here. Quest, 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 quest. Oh my god, man. I'm listening. Give me another one. Okay, there we go. 
Holy shit. Good thing I looked at the map. Good thing I looked at the map, man. And now it's giving me a quest to kill the next boss. After each boss in this in, in this dungeon it's pretty cool. After each boss it gives you quests for the next boss. And it keeps giving you more and more experience for every every quest and every boss that you do. So we are doing a we are doing a, a specific dungeon. So we don't have the the bonus reward from doing a random dungeon. Uh, that means we will not get the bag at the end, and we won't get um, extra seven thousand experience or so, which is a lot for completing the dungeon. But it's still okay, you know. I queued for a specific because this is the one I wanted to show you before it disappears. I feel really bad that the other one disappeared, the dead mines in the previous episode, so I couldn't couldn't do it and show you. But you're gonna do it yourself if you start playing the game, of course. Or maybe I can solo it at one point. When you get to level 50 or so, you can uh, solo the dungeons that are for level 20. So, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, what is going on? When is the next boss? <laughs> Getting impatient here. Give me bosses, man. We want more bosses to kill. I do not have a target. I do not have a target. Yeah, man. I think um, dungeons is like a really safe and really good place to level up. They are so easy to do and so fast. And um, you just go from one dungeon okay this is the boss you just go from one dungeon to another all the time and you just clean them and then you get experience and you do a um, random dungeon so you can get bonus experience as a reward well you're dead son what is this offhand this is for a caster this is for um Mages and uh, shadow priests like my main and stuff offhand It doesn't deal any damage the offhand doesn't deal um, I can Where do we have to return the quest? I saw a question mark on the map. I can see a question mark over there. Is it is it over there somewhere? I see a question mark behind me Maybe it's not behind us. Maybe maybe we have to keep going and it will be... it. Okay, here it is. Oh, but there is another one. There are two question marks. Maybe one is a bug. Maybe one of them is bugged. And now we have a quest for the last boss. That's probably the last boss of the dungeon. And we're gonna do that quest. And as a reward for the quest, we get shoulders. But we already have shoulders. So, again, never lucky. We didn't get anything. Sucks. Sucks so much. Wait, maybe, maybe from cleaning mobs before the boss we will get something. Some of kind of, some kind of legs or wrist that give anything. Anything other than just armor. Who is going to unlock the door? How do we unlock the door? Oh, this guy. Okay, this guy. We just have this guy guiding us and opening door for us. We leveled up, by the way. Almost. Level 25. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, this is a new spell. Level 24, we learned a new spell. It is too far away. It has a two, two minute cooldown. I'm pretty sure that's a new spell. And I think the tank pulled too many mobs. The tank pulled 
so much that we might actually die. The healer can't heal everyone that much and that fast. Never mind, we're not dying. We got this shit. So now we're going to rest our player. And we do pass on this stuff because we don't need it. And we're going to resurrect the guy. There we go. The shaman. Finally, you guys saw the resurrect. You select someone and then you resurrect. And that's it. So we are done with the dungeon. Uh, let's return the quest. Now that we are done with the dungeon. Return the quest over here. Um, doesn't matter what we choose, we don't need it, we already have shoulders, and we don't need these feet because they give intellect, and we don't care about intellect. 30%! This guy gave me 30% of the experience, oh my god. What is this quest? What is this bonus objective here? Bonus objective, but we already did all of them. It has a little tick, you know, it's one out of one. Maybe if I teleport out of dungeon, and then I teleport in the dungeon again, and I get to the, the entrance of the dungeon in the very beginning. But no, I don't see anyone that I can turn the quest. So... This is just... Nothing, just... Okay. Leave instance group. See ya! Um, this is definitely a new spell. I was pretty sure I saw... You learned a new spell on level 24, but I was like, what? Okay, so this is the blackout kick. This is the one that removes poison and disease. Disable. Now, we didn't have this one. When did we learn all that? Effuse um, is the heal. This is a flying serpent kick. The one that, you know, flies in front of you. Provoke is a tank spell. Um, resuscitate, Rising Sun Kick, the most powerful spell we have right now, deals tons of damage, Roll, Tiger Palm, Touch of Death, this is the new one. So Disable and Touch of Death is the one that we learned, but I didn't even notice we got them. <laughs> so... Disable reduces the target's movement speed by 50% for 15 seconds. During uh, duration refreshed by your melee attacks, target already snared will be rooted for 8 seconds instead. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can. Okay, so 50% 50, 50 movement slow. Okay. I am out of range. This is definitely a PvP spell. You know? I see this as a PvP spell. Oh yeah, we gotta do battlegrounds at one point. We unlocked battlegrounds. We gotta do that as well. PvP player PvP means player versus player, of course. Uh, who doesn't know that? Anyway, sorry. Um, so this is definitely a PvP spell. You slow people for 50%. When you are doing PvP, you wanna slow people, you wanna, you wanna kill them as fast as possible. Yeah, this should be a good one for PvP. So I'm gonna put it over here. And whenever we do PvP, I'm gonna put it in my in my bar. Um, what is the quest here? Am I not on the quest? I am on the... Requires Gorat's corpse. Okay, requires the corpse. 
So I have to kill him first and then put the blood on his corpse. But I don't see him so I can kill him. He's supposed to be right here, I think. Uh, uh, uh. There is another player over here. This is a uh, orc rogue, and he is probably looking for the guy just like me. Maybe he is chilling over there. Maybe he is. It. The map is showing me that he should be right here. Okay, let me see. Use uh, blood on the corpse. Yeah. Okay. Gorat's blood was fresh enough for me to. Use his invent corpse. Yeah, so literally what I have to do for the quest is kill the guy and then use the blood on his corpse, but I don't see the guy. Aha! Uh -huh. Where is he? Where are you? Where are you, buddy? This is not him, but let's kill him anyway. Closer. Oh yeah, the other spell. Use ancient pandaren knowledge of anatomy to inflict mortal damage on an enemy. After 8 seconds, the target will take damage equal to your maximum health, reduced against players. The damage is reduced against players. Okay, so this has 2 minutes cooldown, and this takes 8 seconds to have effect. So this is like... This is for killing a boss in a dungeon that takes um, some time, more than 8 seconds, or in PvP fighting against other players. Even though it has reduced damage against players, I'm sure it's still good against players. I am out of range. So, another spell for PvP. I'm actually gonna put this one here, never mind. I'm gonna put it in here, and if we learn another spell that we need the slot, the number 3, um, we will use it. Okay, where is that guy, man? Let me, let me see if I can go somewhere here in the water, but I still don't see him. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to Google. When you don't know something, you Google it, right? So, um... I'm gonna... I, ca I can show you what... I, I can show you what I'm doing here, and let's see if we manage to find something. Um... When you open your map with the quest, if you press enter that you're writing something, see? Writing something in chat. It's below my camera, the chat. Um, shift, left click, selects the quest. That way you can link it to other people and ask a friend or something about the quest. I don't know, something like that. And then you copy. And after you copy it... Yeah, these guys are doing the quest as well. But they will they will figure out the person is not here. So I copy the quest and this is what I'm gonna do here. Let me see. Screen. Okay, I have the internet browser. So what I do is I paste and then I put quest. The name of the quest followed by quest. And, of course, we're gonna get the website I was talking about, Wowhead. Um, I'm sure there are add-ons. There are a lot of add-ons in the game that will help you as well. Um, but, um, anyway. If you are still having trouble, I can confirm the coordinates are 64, 64, 84. I don't have the add-on that shows the coordinates coordinates. If you're standing right on top of him, which is perfect southwest. Uh, 
Screenshots. Ja, Screenshots. Okay, so a screenshot, he doesn't look like he's in the middle of where we are right now. He's not here in the middle. He is somewhere around the... He's around the water. He's not here in the middle of the water. Also, can you guys, can you guys see down here... This is exactly the captain that we have to kill, and he's yelling, how many times must must I have you killed, orc? How many times must I have you killed? So basically, we have to go around and look for him. I have seen your comments, guys, about installing add-ons. I know, I know add-ons exist in the game, but... um. Sometimes it looks everything a lot different with add-ons. There are add-ons that can change your uh, bars and you can put them in like other parts of the screen or something. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is Alliance. We're gonna die, I think. I hope they don't kill us. This is the Alliance zone over there. This is um, Alliance village. Yeah, that's Alliance village. And the guards are with school for me. I cannot even see the level of the guards. They have a school. So they are way too high level. And they're gonna kill us. On top of that, the PvP got enabled. But I doubt that there will be any Alliance players over here. In this server, most people are Horde, I guess. Okay, so the guy is definitely not in the middle. Let's go and look for him. Around here. Greetings. Uh. <laughs> so, about add-ons. Some of them change the game a lot. Um, if I install an add-on that shows me the quests and stuff... Sometimes I feel like it's way too easy, like... Add-ons are cool, but, you know, I don't want to have the, like, the, the computer playing the game for me. You understand? <laughs> um, kinda don't want to have the computer playing the game for me. I want to I wanna do everything. Because this is the fun part of the game, you know? Doing, doing stuff and playing the game by yourself. Doing everything by yourself. Now, I'm clearly struggling right, struggling right now. I'm clearly struggling at finding the guy. And I don't know where he is. Let me see something else. Videos. There are some videos. What is this? See, for example, this guy is using, using add-ons. See how everything looks different? Okay, so what is this? Hmm. Wait, show me on the map again? On the map right there? I'm right here on the map. Oh, are you kidding me? There he is! You motherfucker! What are you doing here? It's not even something that we have to kill. Why is it telling me that we have to kill something? When we don't have to kill anyone. It says Captain Slain, you know, Captain. Maybe the Captain is there, but we have to use the blood here. And then, if we go there now, the Captain will be there. Follow me closely and prepare for battle. Alright, I am prepared for battle, bro. 
I promise you I will follow you closely and I'm prepared for battle. Oh, wow. Alright. Now completing the quest is a lot more satisfying and I'm more happy about it because I struggled a little bit with it. So now it's like a little more satisfying. <laughs> I need a target. Sometimes I'm weird. Sorry. Sorry guys. Nothing I can do about it. This is definitely the last quest we're doing, by the way. We are ending it after this. We are ending after this, man. Show yourself, elf coward. Face your death with honor. Yeah, that's what I mean. Show yourself, you fuck. There he is. Oh my god, there he is. Okay, so if you guys come to this zone to level up, remember... You have to use the blood on that guy, and then he will summon the person that you have to kill. Alright. So he's dead. Now we're gonna go to the Vengeance. I mean, we're gonna go to the Vengeance? What the fuck did I just say? Uh, we're gonna go return the quest. Where is the battleground even? Battleground, battlegrounds, where are they? Player versus player over here. On the dungeon, on the group finder, player versus player. This is what we're gonna do next time. In the next episode, we're going to do a background. Uh, um background um uh, battleground holy shit <laughs> come on bro and now we get another quest here now we get another quest okay let's do it fuck it because the quest is close only because the quest is close to us okay if i had to go somewhere else like over here for example i wouldn't do it remember what i said about the game being a little addictive, you know, because it's one more quest and then another one and then and then you see the quest is like right next to you, so you are like, okay, let's do that one as well. And um strength. Okay, so apparently I have to take an item from that guy and then I can ride the ride the ride the mount with it. Wait, where are we going, bro? Yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. Hey, where are we where are you going? Hey. What the fuck? He's jumping like a monkey. Didn't think uh, such a big creature like that will jump like that. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's go. You know? Oh, oh, Look Okay, now we got a quest here, and we're going to log out. Not doing it. You know, the quest is right next to me. If I wanted to, I could do it in just two minutes. But remember, don't let the game, um, don't let the game, uh, control you and make you do more and more remember that you control the game game doesn't control you so even if this quest is right next to us like the previous one we're not doing it we're leaving it for the next episode this episode seven i believe is over we did two dungeons and we leveled up by doing quests we leveled up to 25 um thank you guys for watching as always a uh, like on the video would be really appreciated, that helps out a lot. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'm logging out, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Now, good luck, and have fun playing video games.